There are some really wild myths about scanning and recalibration out there. We're going to find out what they are next in the AirPo Diagnostics Collision Garage. How many times has someone told you their opinion and right away you realize it's based on some bad information or total ignorance of vehicle repairs? Maybe they're just not seeing the whole picture. This happens a lot when it comes to the scanning and recalibrating of vehicle ADAS systems. Here are five myths about scanning and recalibration. Myth number one, if there is no light on the dash, everything is working correctly. This is a common one that both vehicle owners and repair professionals fall for. That is proven to be incorrect every day to any shop that does proper pre-repair scans. Those shops who wait until the end of the repairs and just clear the codes and think they're done with validating those repairs are only opening the door for customer comebacks and problems. Myth number two, I do not need to calibrate. There are three subsections to this. Number one, I did not unplug the sensor or device, so I do not need to calibrate. Number two, I did not start the vehicle with the sensor or device unplugged, so I do not need to calibrate. Number three, I just r and the parts, so I don't need to calibrate. There are three things that warrant a calibration of a vehicle after repairs. Number one, connectivity. Any possibility of either wire damage, connector damage, or the human error of not plugging in the sensor or connectors securely. Number two, angle of the sensor. Any damage repairs or replacements or human error that possibly could change the angle or direction in which a sensor is designed to operate. Number three, attitude of vehicle to the ground. Any operations such as alignment, non-OEM equipment such as tires or wheels and lift kits, suspension parts and steering parts. Myth number three, if it calibrates, it's good to go. This has been a widely held false belief for many people in the automotive electronics repair industry. Many times a technician will set static targets for a vehicle and then the static calibration fails and the technician starts moving the targets around until the calibration is successful. Recent statements and studies by OEMs should cause many technicians practicing this method to rethink what they're doing. This also relates to myth number four and five. You can calibrate anywhere and you can move a target from specs to calibrate. All these myths are simply untrue. In our next video, we're going to go over five more myths common to the world of vehicle electronics. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.